Hey there, one up indie here coming with a color theory VFX tutorial because I got a question from one of my subscribers on the last video which I did, so on the Vampire Survivors remake. Then he just said like, hey, isn't it easier to uh, just uh, have an uh, image blend instead of two sprites, so basically the regular sprite and then the white version? Yes and no, because there are some quirks with image blending and therefore let's just dive right into it so the official manual says like hey image blend and then you're just having an original sprite and then you're just blending it uh, with a different color and boom you got a pretty sweet result which isn't always the case by the way so uh, foreshadowing here um, we got tons of examples of image blending and a few of them and looking <laughs> as intended so basically let's say for the bluish blending so see blue this doesn't look good or for example for the purple at the bottom this doesn't look sweet either so let's go quickly into what actually is happening so color theory 101 <laughs> pretty much a quick crash because so basically there are just two oh, well standard ways how colors are being well created so here we got the rgb this is more for electronics so basically we got red green and blue and these are used in monitors and for um well in uh, in and output devices and therefore um this is the electronic world where we are just using most of the time rgb values and for example your monitor is using rgb also so here um you got some crystals which are just lighting up this is how that works and the new on the flat screens at least the latest technology and then they're just lighting up one of those colors with a specific luminosity so lightness and then they are creating an end result color and then for example the total result is if you blend rgb together it's white and for example there's the negative version which is c y uh, c m y and then k which is then having a blackish color so here once again this is for our electronics dudes and this is for our print dude which are doing posters and uh, things which are being printed out on paper or on what kind of ever uh, stuff you want to do and just for explanation uh, rgb i guess should be uh, pretty easy to understand so red green and blue but here you got the yellow this is magenta and this is Cyan. and these colors are basically two colors together so for example um, what is that magenta is red uh, two, 255 max and then blue 255 so for example if you would just go with one then we got complete blue so this is how these things work and then if you're just wondering but i see three colors but four letters yes because in theory you can merge them together and print a nice black color but this will very unlikely happen in the real world and therefore you got k uh, or which stands for key or could be just well just a black cartridge where you're just adding a black color to make it darker or even a, in quotations perfect black but you never get a perfect black by the way so this is the thing which is very difficult to achieve and therefore they just throw in the black in the mix this is the color theory let's go back to the uh, question and now hopefully the answer to you so what you're seeing in front of you are different kind of shades so for example if you have a start color of white or a start color of gray which is in between white and then for, for example black and then you have an image blend of red maybe blue so this is c red c blue c green and then a light one which is c aqua or a very dark color which is c purple purple or violet i don't know one of those two guys and then as you can see we are losing some detail on the way and therefore c blending is okayish but not always so for example here these ones and these ones are looking pretty sweet for the c blue as a image blend but here we are losing some detail we are basically losing everything and therefore just be aware that uh, image blend is not always uh, having uh, the result which you think it has because it's not really replacing colors it's uh, having a base and a second color and then you just throw it into the mix and see what happens and this is what it does so here once again you can just work with what you have and therefore what i did here um, on the right side which is just a completely white 
version of a sprite and therefore if you recolor it with any kind of color then you're getting a true color swap in this kind of regard um, in quotations because <laughs> it has no detail you're just losing everything but of course I did this this is the explanation so um, it doesn't really matter what kind of colors the original sprite has a completely white version will be always I don't know for C white white and then for example if I use it for status effects for poisoning for a chill effect or for burning then I can still use the image blend later on for that so this is my short hopefully comprehensive explanation and then for example if you just look at the examples the result is not always what you think it is and therefore if, for example if you have very light colors so here with the mushroom dude or the water spirit whatever then the blending is working pretty fine through all uh, through all of them of course it's better to have a lighter blending color for example here red is very harsh and here a light bluish color which is closer to, to white has having a let's call it a neater result in the end and therefore for example here you could use sea lime or here uh, sea aqua and then for red is there actually a red light version i don't even know i guess you could use a yellow or orange so here once again kind of important and then for example here uh, our bat is losing an eye or here we're <laughs> just losing the complete dude it's, and it's completely blackish so once again uh, solution is if you want to use see uh, the image blend which is completely fine just be aware that some colors are kind of terrible in blending and therefore just be aware of that fact but besides that um, image blending is a pretty sweet and easy way to do a lot of great effects and i use that a lot of times but here i wanted to make it uh, an efficient way how to do that so here you can do both approaches both are legit and just be aware that you have to have a kind of a, a good color scheme for all your enemies so you don't fall into the trap of losing detail or completely uh, use uh, it completely looks then off for example if you see those blends they're looking okay but this one is looking completely off same for red on the green part interestingly not because they're kind of similar so blending is pretty good but on the other ones out of the window with you already hopefully that answered that question and now you will have a little bit of color theory which is then color merging or tinting or blending which is basically the same taking two colors and then merging it into a new one of course you have to work with what you have or what's actually happening in a lot of games you actually have a shader which is replacing colors because sometimes if you for example see metal slug and you have this sweet looking uh, hit animation with those uh, reddish uh, yellowish colors that you can do but with color swapping because or just having a completely different sprite which is getting replaced so this is uh, these are the two ways how to handle such thing because i already tried that um have creating this metal slug um blinking effect just with regular sprites is more or less impossible to do so therefore you create all your own sprite or you just do a color replacing by a shader already that was it from my side have a good one one up indie